Well, hello, welcome to our fifth annual Idea Leap Grant Workshop. I'm Dion Jenkins, Vice President of Diversity and Inclusion for TVFCU, and I'm super excited to talk to three of our previous winners from our Idea Leap competition. So we're gonna jump right on in. Lori Stevens with Chattanooga School of Language, you were our very first Idea Leap winner. You won the grand prize of $20,000 in 2018. And Lori, tell us a little bit about who you are, what your business does, and how you spent those grant funds. Yes, thank you so much for having me today. This is really exciting. Um, the fifth anniversary is pretty is something pretty amazing. Um, so Chattanooga School of Language is a language school. We teach um, about 10 different languages to people of all ages and proficiency levels and reasons for learning. And we have various programs um, just to make language learning more accessible to more people. And um, part of that, that is our mission essentially, and to bring people together through connecting with language. Um, and with that $20,000, it was one of the most, one of the coolest experiences of my life, I'll say. Um, I had never really done a pitch before. And so all of the, the whole process was very um, enlightening and, a wonderful experience for me um, and Chattanooga School of Language. And we use that funding um, to provide additional um, staff development so that we could train our teachers more to be more efficient um, in, in reaching more people. We also used it for various brand awareness measures um, that we wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. So it helped us in a variety of, of ways. And it was um, monumental, honestly, for that stage in, in growth for the business. Wonderful. Thank you, Lori. And I know it was really exciting for us. It was our first year and out doing site visits, and we were able to come into your space and view what you did. And now I know you're in many of the schools. You've worked with several of the local businesses. We've offered uh, Spanish classes to some of our employees through your programming and looking to do some other things. So it's been really exciting. Melanie, you won year two, 2019, $20,000 as the grand prize winner for Hutton and Smith. Tell us a little bit about your business and how you spent your grant funds. Yes, thank you, Dion. Um, and congratulations on five years. I think it's so cool that y'all do this. It really makes just such a huge impact on so many small businesses, um, including mine. Um, I own a brewery and we were able to um, purchase a yeast tank and uh, the necessary equipment available that we needed to start propagating our own yeast. So this just means that we can grow our own yeast instead of having to buy it from a supplier. So um, greatly increased our um, cash flow and um, also gave us uh, some the ability to uh, have increased quality control on the um, on the yeast that we do use to make beer. So we're super grateful for it. Um, it was a big move for us and, and we're so happy to see y'all doing this for small businesses. Absolutely, thank you for sharing that. And I remember on your, your site visit and you were talking about propagating yeast and all this, and we were all like, we have no idea what that is, but we know how it'll impact the business. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're very grateful that we were able to help you with that. And I, and I remember, and we can talk about this maybe a little later, but on pitch night, you know, Lori talked about her first time doing a pitch. And I remember on pitch night, you guys brought so many of your customers to come out and support you. And that really made a difference on pitch night, just with the morale, with the crowd and everything. So, you know, I, I remember that, that piece really standing yeah, out. I Mm -hmm. Yeah, I recommend get your friends and family to come out and show support. Um, uh, I think it made a difference for us. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it boosts your confidence, if nothing else, to, to look out into the crowd and see familiar faces. And it just gives you that energy during your pitch to say, I can do this. Let me sell this business because so many people are out here to support me. So keep that in mind for those of you that are looking to uh, apply this year. Um, we don't have with us uh, Danielle Landrum from Locals Only, who was our 2020 grant winner. Um, and that, that year was a little different virtually. Um, but Brianna Garza is here. And since we came back live, 
in 2021, we decided we'd play off the numbers a little bit and give away $21,000 for year 2021. So Brianna, tell us a little bit about your business and what you do with your grant funds. Good morning. I'm Brianna um, and Chat Taste Food Tours. We curate dining experiences in Chattanooga. We take tourists and guests and we make them feel like a local. We have them navigate the culinary scene the same way we do. Um, the easiest way to describe what Chat Taste does is speed dating for restaurants. Um, what we were able to do with our grant money is get mobile. Um, our company has always been restricted to the curation of what's walkable, what's accessible within a three to four block radius. Um, so with TVFCU's help, we are now mobile. We were able to purchase a dining car. Um, it'll actually be built out in a few phases. Um, so it is a 10 passenger vehicle. Right now, this allows us to take our 19 um, restaurant client base and we've already expanded that to close to 30 restaurant partners just by having the ability to get there. Um, so we're really doing the Chattanooga experience in a different way, incorporating the arts, um, incorporating what Chattanooga is known for, our historical buildings, which is truly a taste of Chattanooga. We'll feed you everything else. We kind of slide under the rug. You're going to get history. You're going to get a lot of uh, experiences here. And because of the grant, we're able to truly do the vision of chat taste and incorporate the culture and community and combine that with the cool cuisines that are already phenomenal here. I love that. And when when we try to promote this program, we tell everybody it's your wish list item. It's that one thing that would really make a difference in your business. And I think you ladies really use the funds toward those items that really propels your business forward, right? And so let's let's share some some tips and advice to people that are considering applying or that have applied and they're like, what happens next? So Brianna, we'll start with you. What tip do you have to business owners to say, do this or if you've done it, this is what you do next? Um, Dion, the first piece would be apply anyway. Um, look at the qualifications. I'm going into year three it's kind of intimidating. I mean, these businesses, I'm looking at Lori and Melanie, and these are businesses that I've known and patroned and trust. Um, so being a small business owner, some of the times that confidence is not there to think if you would qualify or if this idea leap is too grandiose for you. So the first thing is a confident piece, do it. Apply, um, but really get to know your business. Chat Taste and I got really intimate during the Idea Elite program, and we unpacked who we were as a company and really isolated what our ask was. We were very firm on what would make Chat Taste more accessible to people, and we stayed true to that. We knew what our ask was, and we stayed on that route the entire process. Absolutely. You make a great point. When you ask for your funds in your application, and then the judges come out and do their site visit and talk with you, make sure you stick with that ask. Yeah. And then when you get there for pitch night, talk about that ask. Because if you're asking for four different things every time we talk to you, then that kind of makes us a little weary and concerned. So make sure you know what it is that your business needs when you create that ask. But if for some reason you ask in your application, and then when it's time for the pitch night, for it's time for your site visit with the judges, which is part of this process, if that changes, just let us know and explain why. And then if you make it to pitch night, you can pitch that new idea. Because, you know, had Melanie gotten funding for her yeast uh, machine before this, we, before we got to the site visit, it would be okay to say, well, we got the funding for that another way, but here's another thing that we could do and that's okay but be firm and confident in that ask and show us how it propels your business lori what about you what tip as a, as a first time winner and then kind of seeing it throughout time and then you served as a celebrity judge on pitch night what tips do you have for applicants i would say one thing that stands out to me and i know it's an i believe it's a question in the application itself too but really sell your business and and say in the application, but also if you get the opportunity to pitch, of course, what makes your business unique to Chattanooga? Why is your service, why is your product 
making Chattanooga better? Like, why do we need you in, in this in this realm of small businesses? And I think that's a big thing for me. Why? How are you unique? What makes you stand out? And how are you making this community better? Um, I think that's a, a big a big factor in this for me. Absolutely. I, I tell business owners all the time, it is your business. Sell it to us. You're the only one that can speak about why your business is unique, why your services uh, and products are needed, and you have to sell it and be confident in that. It's your business. It's your dream. Make it my dream. Make me want to be a part of it and invest in that dream as well. Absolutely. <laughs> Melanie, what about you? What tips would you add uh, to those that are thinking about applying or those who have applied and maybe moving forward in the process? Thanks. Help for me was just involving our um, employees. We came as a team to see, like you said, Dion. You know, what what do we need? What's our one big thing um, um, that is yeah. going to push us forward? And we sort of decided as a team what we wanted, and everybody was involved in helping us with the application, um, and also during the site visit. So making sure that we were all ready for the site visit and. Um, I think also just making sure that you um, follow the questions closely in the application. Um, everything that Tennessee Valley wants to know about you is there, so make sure that you let them know. Absolutely. Thank you, Melanie. And you bring up a great point. And we, we talk about these site visits as though, you know, the folks know what's happening. So once you apply and we narrow it down to our, our top 20 candidates, there's a panel of judges who will come out and do a site visit to your business. Um, and when we get it narrowed down to the top 10, those are the, the businesses that we will visit. And so when we come out, make us a part of the experience. And the judges, we're the ones that are, that are judging whether or not you move forward to the top five. So sell us on that. And Melanie, you bring up a great point of, I remember when we did our site visit, your whole team was there everybody was there and everyone was singing the same saying the same thing about why this business was so great what role they played in it and it was just a unified front and i think that's really important to have your employees buy into the process as well because that helps us see wow everybody is really excited about this business they really want to see it succeed and we want to be a part of that as well so that's a great point. And there are only a few short questions on the application. You got to sell us early because yeah. before it gets to the judges, there's a panel reviewing those application questions. So make sure you put as much information as possible in those spaces to make us be able to imagine it on paper. Because uh, I think that's where some of the businesses fall out. They'll put a quick, uh, we're a brewery. Well, what what does your brewery do that makes you different from another brewery? So make sure that you have very detailed information about who you are, what you do, what impact you have, and how these funds will help your business. I can't push that um, anymore. So any other last minute tips and tools that you guys would like to share about um, the process, whether it's the application process, the site visits, pitch night, or even after you've won the funds. And that's open to anyone. Um, one thing that was a, a byproduct of participating is just the community awareness. You know, um, Lori and I, we are now collaborating mm -hmm. on a language plus culinary experience. Mm -hmm. So there, there's no way you lose going through this process. You get to know your business a little bit better. And I'm keep pushing, like apply anyway. Um, but, you know, the after, cool. you know, the collaborations that are yielded from um, being part of this process, the connections with the other winners. Um, I wish I could go get my promenade right now at the refrigerator, Melanie, but I won't. <laughs> uh, but that, those relationships, the after was in, was incredible for business, just in terms of the community awareness of the small business and the collaborations with other business owners that yielded itself after. I would echo that 100%, Brenna. That was that. That's very true. Um, I'm thankful 
it, even for the, like I said earlier, the, the process itself was just a learning experience. Um, and the connections made during and after, 100% agree with you with what you just said. Um, it's, it's very valuable in and of itself. Melanie, I have a question for you. How much money have you had to pay TVFCU back after you won the grant? How much of the grant funds have you had to return? Yeah, I think there was, I think she may be paused. Oh, nothing. No, it's it's there's no strings attached. They just Tennessee yeah, Valley wrote us a check paused. and uh let me move it real quick. Lori, <laughs> <laughs> how about my back? Bring us back. Absolutely zero. Brianna, Sorry, I cut out there. <laughs> yeah. um, no, Tennessee Valley has not asked me for any money. Absolutely. It is a grant, people. I yeah. think people are so hesitant to apply because they're like, there's no such thing as free money. We are really giving away a grant for small businesses, for small businesses in this community to help you all grow and prosper. And that's really what we want. Ladies, thank you so much for your time. I have really appreciated talking to you. I'm excited to be working with you. Lori, you were a judge on pitch night um, the year that you won. Melanie, the year after the year after you won, Lori, I'm sorry. Melanie, the year after you won, you were able to serve as a judge and to help other businesses that applied in this process. And Brianna, this year you get to serve as a judge and we'll be out there doing site visits with us and i appreciate all of you i love working with all of you and i thank you all for giving us this time today um, to share with other small businesses within our community about how this grant how this opportunity can help them in their businesses so thank you for that thank you and yeah before we go i want to give a few quick tips updates additional information um, regarding the grant process and how you apply. So the application period is open from May 2nd through June 3rd. So applications are open now. Please follow us on all of our social media accounts. You can follow TVFCU and also uh, just to share some quick eligibility highlights. You have to be in our 13 county footprint. You have to be in operation for at least one year. You have to have less than 2.5 million in annual revenue and less than 25 employees with at least two employees. So the business owner and one other employee who could be a contracted employee, but there have to be at least two, two people involved in the business. And you can go to our website. And if we'll put that, that back up on the screen for people to see the website that they can go to it's tvfcu.com slash ideally grant make sure you apply you have until june 3rd and we really want to win we really want our businesses to win that fifty thousand dollar grand prize we have not talked about that this year we are giving away a hundred thousand dollars so make sure grand prize winner fifty thousand First place, $20,000, and three runner-ups will win $10,000. Lori, Melanie, and Brianna, thank you so much for joining us today. We had a wonderful time, and we really hope that all of you businesses out there that are looking, that are thinking about applying, that you apply. And also, if you have applied and you're wondering what's next, just hang tight and make sure you continue to sell your business. Thank you guys for your time and for watching today. And we look forward to receiving your applications and seeing you on pitch night.